Shima Luan. From one of the biggest mysteries of science to lunar disappearing acts, we count 11 mysteries about our solar system that science can't explain. Number 11. Is life unique to Earth? This is kind of an obvious one, but it'd be stupid not to include it. It's arguably the biggest mystery in science. While we know it's unlikely that Earth is the only planet that houses life, we have zero proof of any life anywhere other than our own home turf. Number 10. The Flyby Anomaly Occasionally, we'll have our spacecrafts do a flyby of Earth. That is to say that they come as close as possible without being caught up in the gravity. This can give a gravity slingshot effect which greatly increases their velocity, but the change in speed isn't always predictable. There's been multiple accounts of variable increases or decreases from the calculated speed, and we just don't know why it happens, or even why it doesn't happen every time. One theory suggests that there's a large halo of dark matter around the Earth, which would be a huge discovery since as far as we know, dark matter should only affect large-scale objects. Number 9. Radio Dark and Light Spots on Venus Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. It also has the thickest atmosphere of any non-gas giant, which makes it that much harder to study. We generally study it by sending radio wave probes. When we first did, we found something crazy. The higher you go in Venus, the more radio reflective the ground gets until it abruptly goes radio black. One theory is that it's because of a special kind of crystal that changes reflective nature as it varies in temperature. Another is that it's because of ice made from metallic compounds, but neither explanation has been proven. Number 8. Europa's Missing Geysers In late 2012, the Hubble Space Telescope captured an image of Europa, Jupiter's frigid moon, spewing water into space from its south pole. This caused a lot of buzz amongst the astronomy community. Using this water, they could sample the oceans of Europa, testing for life without having to land a probe on its surface. However, ever since then, scientists have tried to find out more about the plumes of water, only to find out that there's no evidence of them existing now or ever. They even checked a probe's data that went by Jupiter in 2001 and still found nothing. Number 7. Martian Chaos Terrain Chaos Terrain is pretty awesome to look at, but the chaos terrain on Mars is something else. With irregularly shaped large blocks up to 30 kilometers across and more than 100 meters high, possibly the most interesting part of this terrain is how we have little idea for how it formed. There's theories it was caused by huge amounts of water melting under the surface, corroding the formation much the same way most chaos terrain is formed. Then there's the theory it was caused by volcanic activity burying a thick layer of ice, and then the ice evaporated thanks to Mars' thin atmosphere. But either way, it's still a mystery that remains to be solved. Number 6. Jupiter's Red Spot The red spot on Jupiter is actually a storm that dwarfs even Earth, with it being more than twice the width of Earth's face. Not only that, but it's been seen since the 1600s. The mystery behind it? We don't know why it's red. We have theories that it's caused by radiation reacting with ammonium hydrosulfide, but we don't know if it's the right shade of red, as creating the conditions of Jupiter's atmosphere in the lab is a little more than just difficult. Not only that, but ammonium hydrosulfide is also predicted to only make up a very, very small percentage of the giant's atmosphere, making the theory a bit of a stretch. Number 5. Lunar Glow When the Apollo astronauts reached the dark side of the moon, they saw something quite strange. There was a glow of light right before and during sunset, as well as faint shafts of light appearing shortly before sunrise. We don't know exactly why this happens, but one leading theory that it was caused by dust reflecting sunlight got enough attention that a probe was sent by the moon to see if the theory panned out. While we found a cloud of dust as predicted, it was 100 times less dense than it needed to be to explain the glow seen by the astronauts, meaning the glow is now more mysterious than it has ever been. Number 4. Ultra Red Matter Objects found in and around the Kuiper Belt, the area where Pluto lives, have been found to have red material on their surfaces. This matter isn't found in the inner solar system, and we don't really know what it actually is. Some theorize that the red color indicates that it's made of organic molecules, not to be confused with organic life forms, and that it was cooked by cosmic radiation. However, we don't have anywhere near enough empirical data to believe this to be true. For all we know, it could be ice or Neptune's bloody nose splatters. Ew. Number 3. Mars's Methane Burps Methane has many different possible origins, one of which is a byproduct of life. So when the Curiosity rover found sporadic ejections of methane in the atmosphere of Mars, everyone back at home got very excited. We definitely don't have enough evidence to jump to any conclusions, but we do know that it's going to be something future rovers will be on the lookout for. While it doesn't confirm anything, it does at least indicate that it's possible to preserve organic compounds. Again, this isn't actual life, it's only the building blocks. Inside Mars's rocks. Number 2. Earth's Temporary Belt The Van Allen belts are areas of magnetically trapped, highly charged particles, and they are part of what makes life on Earth possible. Two of NASA's specialized Van Allen probes discovered a brand new belt around Earth. 
but soon after it was discovered, it was destroyed by an interplanetary shockwave. Before this belt appeared, we thought we pretty much had the Van Allen belts figured out. So much so that when it was detected, the scientist monitoring the data assumed it was a mistake in the equipment. When he found that it wasn't a mistake, he announced the discovery to the scientific community, and now they've been working on a new theory on how Van Allen belts work ever since. Number 1. How many planets there are in our solar system? Yes, we're reasonably sure that there's only eight planets in our solar system, but we're not positive. There have been some smatterings of data that suggest there are planets beyond Neptune that have an incredibly long orbiting period. There have been a few objects similar to Pluto pulled into the Sun's orbit much further out than should be possible. This has led scientists to theorize that it could be because the Sun had captured a planet from a nearby star, and it spends some of its time in orbit around the Sun and some of its time around that of the other star. Since it's so far out, it's incredibly difficult to find by simply looking through a telescope. Then there's the fact that since the Kuiper Belt ends abruptly, there's a theory that this could be because there's a planet up to the size of Neptune collecting objects from the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune. Thanks for listening. Bye.